Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will explain some volume options in CATIA V5 surface modeling. In the last video, we discussed some volume options. And today we continue further options. See here draft angle. You can see draft angle option in volumes. Draft angle means it gives angle to the surface. See, if we have a surface, say, suppose I go to plane, sketch. I create a rectangle. Now, when you extrude this rectangle, we get a surface. Give some length. I give some 100. So, we can't apply draft angle directly to the surface. See, I go for draft angle option and I select this surface see selecting phase belong to the current body so it won't accept so what we need to select means we need to select a, a solid solid means no need to go into a part design no 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 to create a uh, no need to use a pad by getting into part modeling here we can apply volume extrude solid created by volume options See, I delete this surface. Now I go for volume extrude. Now you can see this is a 3D solid which is generated in a surface modeling itself. To use this option, we need to generate a 3D solid using this volume option and do select this draft angle option. I want to give some draft angle to the surface the neutral phase I select the top surface and I give some angle 10 degrees then see here we get a, a draft angle like this so draft angle should be used for this type of a solids you can select a number of surface I go back draft angle I select the surfaces all the four surfaces got selected and neutral element I select the top surface I give some angle I give minus 10 so it is reduced see with a 10 degrees angle like this so we can use this uh, draft angle we have to use the uh, draft angle option uh, for this solids I go back in the same way here shell option you can see volume shell this is we need to generate a 3d solid then you can go for a, a shell option then give some default thickness I give some fireman then face to remove I select this face then I select this face now this is the shell option we need to Utilize this option on solids in surface molding. So this is draft angle and this is shell. I go back or I delete this 3D solid. Then here you can see thick surface thickness so for this for this we have to select surface see you don't accept a profile uh, for extrude you can select either surface or profile you will get a solid but for thick surface you have to select a surface see now i go for thick surface see the next option here i use thick surface nothing but it adds some thickness for the selected surface say either inside or outside you can reverse this arrow direction then go for a, a giving offset distance uh, i give some 10 mm you can see a volume with 10 mm thickness uh, for that surface i go back then see this is a closed surface for this option also 
we have to select a surface a clo the two a closed surface i select this closed surface then i select i select this example surface see then i go for okay then a solid is uh, filled totally a solid is filled inside that surface so the surface is uh, filled with a solid so to see only solid we can hide this surface see the surface has been hidden now we can apply either dropped angle or shell to this solid like this we have to use this options dropped angle shell thick surface close surface thank you for watching this video for more videos share and subscribe imperial cat system